So the Arctic is warming uh, now faster than any other part of the planet. It's really feeling the impacts of climate change in a much more significant way than most of the rest of the world and is really forecasting what we can all expect to see in the coming decades. The Stevenson Ocean Security Project, uh, in partnership with uh, the CSIS Arctic Program, released a report called Charting a New Arctic Ocean. And it's really an examination of how the ecosystem changes as a result of the physical changes are manifesting themselves in dramatic ways and what kinds of implications that may have for the existing global norms that we have in the Arctic. Russia is a great example of a state that has invested heavily in Arctic infrastructure. They have uh, tremendous oil and gas resources, they have a large ice-breaking fleet, and a large military presence. We, the U.S., are of course an Arctic state as well, but we have invested significantly less in our Arctic infrastructure. We need to be thinking more about how we're better investing in infrastructure, whether that's having a place for a deep water port to support safety operations for emerging commerce, whether that is making sure that we have a place that our naval and coast guard vessels can operate out of. All these things are issues that we need to address and seriously consider how we're going to meet the challenges, uh, not just from the changing environment, but from the changing security landscape. Right now, I would say the Arctic is a fairly well-governed space, but I think we have to understand that there are you know, clouds, dark clouds potentially on this Arctic horizon. Uh, first and foremost, we have a steadily increasing military buildup in the Arctic, particularly by Russia. Russia's nuclear deterrent is based in the Arctic. We know they are testing new weapons, and now we see increasingly a larger economic presence for China in the Arctic uh, with their polar Silk Road airport constructions, ports, undersea cables, and there's there's some real questioning about what the U.S. should do about that. We want to make sure that the Arctic remains a stable region, but to do that, we have to make sure we are prepared, and that is enhancing our security uh, presence, our economic presence, as well as our diplomatic and scientific presence. Our report is perfectly timed for this increased interest by the U.S. government in Arctic policy. For more on the Arctic and to read our full report, please go to CSIS.org.